times a day do you pass by the cafeteria? Two, five, maybe ten times? Or how about when you're at the food court, at the mall? Do you go and buy a burger and a dozen donuts? Or do you go to the healthy smooth stand? Think about when you're faced with a choice of satisfying your short-term craving versus holding out for a long-term goal. Think carefully next time because scientists have shown that some foods make you feel happy, while some make you feel tired, lazy, and down. How many of you have overeaten on pizza and felt really tired and lazy for the rest of the day? Or eaten a piece of chocolate and felt really happy and uplifted? There are two chemicals in your body that trigger neurotransmitters, which can make you happy. The first one is dopamine. Dopamine, as some of you may know, is a feel-good hormone. It, in a healthy dopamine-leveled body, there is regular sleep, happiness levels, and you're going to have increased motivation. Compared, when you have low levels of dopamine, you may feel tired, depressed, and have irregular sleep. So, how many of you have felt one of those? To raise dopamine levels, you can do that by eating foods high in protein, such as eggs and meat. If we look at the components of dopamine, such as for L-theonine, we will notice that it is present in green tea, everyday green tea. Magnesium, that is found in greens and salads, can also raise dopamine levels, but the good news is, is that if you do not like greens, you can eat nuts and chocolate. Um, B5 and B6 vitamins can be raised through chicken, bananas, and rice. And finally, vitamin D, which is most commonly found with the sunlight, can also raise dopamine levels. I am sure that most of you, when you were at the beach with the sun, have felt really happy and relaxed and satisfied, compared to on a dark, cold day when there is no sun, felt really tired, lazy, and down. The second component is serotonin. Serotonin is a chemical that is 95% in our guts and travels throughout the brain. With this, we can see that we're really what we eat. Uh, in a body, if there's low levels of serotonin, you might feel tired, lazy, and down all the time. While if you have a healthy level of serotonin, you will feel relaxed while still maintaining your energy levels. Uh, this effect, this calming effect of serotonin can be felt even 30 minutes after eating. So basically, right now. Uh, serotonin can be raised by tryptophan, which is its building blocks. Tryptophan can be found in chicken, eggs, turkey, uh, salmon, tuna, lentils, beans, greens, uh, lent, uh, <laughs> uh, seeds, nuts, and chocolate. Now, also, tryptophan serotonin can be raised by carbs, such as pasta, pizza, and pretzels, which makes carbs so addictive. But if you're on a diet, you can eat sweet potatoes, uh, sweet potatoes, blueberries, apples, and carrots. Now, I have been talking about foods that make you feel happy, but what about foods that make you feel down? Who here has recently eaten hamburgers? Or half a dozen donuts? Well, foods that are high in sugar, which have a lot of carbohydrates, which have MSG inside, do send your body on a roller coaster. Certified health coach Carrie Axelrod says that these foods send your blood sugar on a roller coaster called mood swings and puts you at risk of depression. Now we have been saying that these foods really are unhealthy for you, but have you thought about how they make you feel inside? Unsurprisingly, when you would have, when you would have eaten them, you would have felt lazy, tired, or down a couple of hours later. A friend of mine, one day, was left alone with his older brother for three days. They decided that they're going to have a junk food fest. So they ate junk food for breakfast and dinner and mostly fries. They felt really happy after eating the foods, 30 minutes or so. But after the full 30 day, three days, they felt really tired, down, and their faces were full of acne. Now, if that's not enough to say that junk food is bad for you, then I don't know what is. I have been talking and I've given you a lot of information, but truly, you might ask yourself, so what am I supposed to eat now? If we notice here, in the red column, you'll see foods that raise your serotonin levels. While in the blue column, you'll see foods that raise your dopamine levels. And in the middle is foods that raise both your levels. You can look at it. 
All I can now say is that you are what you eat and how you feel. So changing your diet slightly to make you feel better is easy. In a world where there are many components that can make you feel down, lazy, tired, and angry, changing a small, easy component may result in you feeling happy largely. Thank you.